Hi children, welcome to class today. Our topic today is data handling. Okay, we will learn interpreting pie charts. Pie chart is a chart using a divided circle where each section represents a percentage of the total. Okay, with pie chart, we can also see the biggest or the smallest data. Okay, look at this pie chart. This is the title of the pie chart. Okay, this part is called sector. There are four sectors in the pie chart. And these are the data of each sector. And the data in the pie chart are represents in percentage. The total percentage of the pie chart should be 100% which means when we add up all the data in the sectors the total should be 100% okay from this pie chart the biggest sector is bus so we can say that most of the pupils come to school by bus 22% of the pupils go to school by bicycle 12% of the pupils go to school by car and 14% of the pupils in the school walk to school. Look at example 2. The pie chart shows leisure activities among of 80 pupils of year 6. We have Scrabble, Chess, Draft, Monopoly and Sudoku. Now A. Find the percentage of Monopoly. Okay, remember, the total percentage of all the sectors in the pie chart is 100%. So, to find the percentage of monopoly, 100% minus the total percentage of Scrabble, Chess, Draft and Sudoku. So, it will be 100% minus 85% and the answer will be 15%. So, the percentage of monopoly is 15%. Now B. Calculate the number of pupils for the activities with the highest percentage. First, find the game with the highest percentage. Yes, it is Scrabble. So, to find the number of pupils, we need to multiply percentage with the total number of pupils. So, it will be 35% of 80 pupils. So, 35 or 100 multiply with 80 we will get 28 the number of pupils for the activity with the highest percentage is 28 now look at C how many pupils play Sudoku okay the percentage of Sudoku is 10 percent so 10 percent of 80 pupils play Sudoku. So 10% of 80 will be 10 over 100 multiplied with 80 pupils. So we will get 8 pupils. So the number of pupils who play Sudoku is 8. Okay, now look at D. Okay, it's the difference between the number of pupils who play draft and chess more than 5. Okay, to solve this, first find the difference of percentage between draft and chess. So, 22.5% minus 17.5%, we will get 5%. Okay, 5% of 80 pupils, okay, we will get 4 so, is the difference between the number of pupils who play draft and chess more than 5? No. The difference between number of pupils who play draft and chess is less than 5. Example 3 shows a pie chart of favorite books among year 5 dedicacy pupils. Calculate the percentage of comic fan. 
Okay, as you can see, the data in the pie chart are represented in a form of numbers. Okay, to find the percentage of comic fan, we need to know the total number of pupils in five dedicacy. So, we need to total up the number of pupils for each type of book. Okay, so 6 plus 9 plus 15, we will get 30. The total pupils in 5 dedicacy is 30. So, 6 out of 30 pupils love to read comics. So, the fraction for comic fans is 6 over 30. The percentage of the comic fans convert 6 over 30 to percentage by multiplying 100%. So, the percentage of comic fan is 20%. Okay, class. That's all for today. We will meet again in the next class. Bye.